Welcome to Watford Peace Garden. The Peace Garden is a welcoming place for all. Starting from an idea from members of Watford Interfaith in 2013, Mayor Dorothy Thornhill designated this land for us to use as a Peace Garden. The first tree that was planted here in 2015 was a Millennium Yew tree, which is now surrounded by the bench over there. Uh, it's a cutting from a 2000 year old yew tree. At this time, the land looked wild. Lots of tall grass and weeds growing. Volunteers helped with the initial clearing, which was heavy work. The amphitheater style grass seating area around the labyrinth was made possible by con the construction company Boras, who were doing work in Casterbury Park at the time. They volunteered their heavy machinery. Work continued with help of grants from Watford Council and donations from individuals and organizations. Tons of sand and soil were needed to make the labyrinth area. The simple labyrinth is inspired by a more complex labyrinth in Norwich Cathedral. The idea is to walk the path of the labyrinth to the center and back whilst meditating on peace or meditating as one wishes. As we progressed with special work days and help from local community and faith groups, including the Girl Guides, the Peace Garden developed. Week of Prayers for World Peace was used as a time to come together and plant over a thousand daffodils, and these can be seen flowering in the spring. The Watford Peace Garden was officially opened by Dorothy Thornhill in 2018. It has been used by faith and meditation groups, as well as used to come together during times of uh, conflict in the world to show solidarity in our community. This reflects the fact that Watford people are from all walks of life and together we create harmony, regardless of the difficulties in the world that surrounds us. Features in the Peace Garden have a special significance, such as the Peace Arch, which was used in Watford Celebration, Bridge of Peace ceremonies for many years. Mm -hmm.